Tech Hub for a smarter you. Gaming is said to be raking in over $300 billion globally. That is on an annual scale. Now, 88% of Gen Z's are said to be gaming well, seven hours, 20 minutes on an average per week. Now, for the millennials, this is at 77%. Now, what is Nigeria's share of the statistics? And why do these gamers spend so much time on their beloved devices? Is this a situation of gaming addiction? Well, who better tell the story than the gamers themselves? Well, gathered here are professional gamers in Lagos to show who is the boss. And one of them is here with me. So what does gaming mean to you? Um, initially, it started off as a hobby, but then all of a sudden I realized that there was this massive community of very interesting, diverse people that I could learn from aside the gaming aspect before in, like in life. So it just became like a community for me. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's what it's become. It's become, about, it's become about people for me. How many hours per week do you spend gaming? Maybe three to four times. Uh, when I come back from work every day um, and it's not even about the long practice it's just about knowing what it is you want to practice and trying to become better because um, if you don't practice people will outtake you they'll, they'll outshine you they'll get stronger than you get better than you so I try to do like three to four hours just to stay um, you know in shape it's interesting to hear that you're a professional gamer and you work as well yes I do yes I do there's a stigma that gamers are lazy people um, I, I have about uh, three things that I do aside this. So I have other, other hobbies, other means of income aside just this. So no, gamers, we, we do other things. Sorry, do you work a nine-to-five? Yes, I work a nine-to-five. So um, there's this misconception around gaming in Nigeria, you know, probably has been limiting the growth of the esports in Nigeria. You're already laughing. I'm sure you could just give me like two of them. Yes, people think, you know, that we don't, gamers... Gamers don't, they don't, they're not productive, uh, people think uh, it's a waste of time, but I can tell you it really isn't. Um, for example, the game I play, Street Fighter, is very, very, it's, you have to be very specific. There is mathematics in the game, it might look like people just jumping around, but there are numbers that you have to know to be better, so there's a lot of like calculation involved, so no, we're not lazy, no, uh, it's not a waste of time, no. It's a $2 billion industry globally. So it's, it's, clearly, it's clearly a big thing that could be bet better and bigger in Nigeria. I'm glad you talked about the future of gaming becoming better and bigger in Nigeria. This is very important. But when does it move from being um, something you love to do, a money spinner, to a thing of addiction? Addiction? See, people always call it a lot of things addictions until it becomes very fruitful, it becomes very profitable. For me, it's less than addiction and more about meeting new people. We meet new people every time. Um, when it comes to specifically about, oh, because people, I understand where people come from, where parents come from especially. They want to make sure their kids are studying and all sorts of things. But I can guarantee you, a lot of people here are very successful. You'd be surprised some of the people you will find here. I didn't come to win, I just came to qualify. So, why do you game? What does gaming mean to you? Oh, okay. Uh, well, for me personally, it's um, uh, at a young age, I you know, obviously started, started playing as, as a kid and I just fell in love with it. So, I, had, uh, I fell in love with sports and then video gaming. So, I, when I love something, I like to be the best in it. And then, I don't know how this happened, because it's like magic. And then, I just became the best. So, globally, they said gaming is a money spinner. Would you say the same about the Nigerian climate? Mm, I would say we're working towards that. It's not easy because, you know, in other countries, a lot of people don't uh, respect uh, gaming as a profession in Nigeria. You know, but we are definitely uh, fixing that really well. Yeah. What could be the reason why this limitation exists? In, well, if I had to guess, I would go with the culture. The Nigerian culture is just, uh, if you're not working a proper nine to five, uh, they don't take this uh, seriously. And back then, there was no source of income from gaming, which is understandable because of the culture and all that. But, uh, so that's, that's basically the main reason why it was never really seen as something serious. So 
So what do you do aside gaming? Because we heard that gaming, that gaming people who actually game are not gaming. People who actually game are not very serious people. Okay, this is what I do for a living. This is I. Unlike most of the players here, I got. Uh, I think I won a, a tournament abroad for Nigeria. Uh, I think it's called Feja, Feja. And uh, so once I did that, um, I had a lot of connections with people in the gaming uh, industry. So. I got sponsored by a company, the first sponsorship I got, and they agreed that they will pay me a salary, like a nine to five, all I have to do is just sit down and play the video games and win in tournaments, obviously do well. And then from there, I just said, you know what, I don't need to do anything else. This is what I love doing, and I'm getting paid for it, so this became my nine to five. So give us an idea of like, you know, what's the average kind of pay, so we can get to understand it. Well, it's, 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 uh, to, to, to get to the level that I'm on, yes, I'm bragging now, uh, when I say get to the level, I mean to make it like a career. You have to uh, obviously be more on, be more uh, social media active from the gaming stuff, and then uh, obviously win tournaments. And Nigerians love when you win uh, outside the country. And once you do that, people are going to look for you. And then, then if if this is what you really want to do, and you don't really want to do anything else, then you become what I am. So you want to tell us what the amount is like? I mean, you know. I can tell you that when I. See Started uh, first sponsorship. I have like three sponsors now, so I used to make about uh, 150. That's uh, on a monthly basis. That's just for sitting down, and then obviously I get tournament winnings. So every other two weeks, uh, if I win, I get that uh, cash as well. And the company takes their own their own percentage from it, of course. And then uh, some some interviews like this, for example, usually, usually pay me for this. And then, uh, so that's how I was just surviving from that. And it comes with benefits as well, like the consoles, the, 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 the phones, TV screen, anything I need to, to, to play housing as well, they, they pay for all that. Those are some serious perks. Yes. So the 150, is it 150 Naira, 150 dollars, yeah, or 150,000? 150,000 Naira. That's the way I started from. That was about, this is 2022, that was about five years ago. Now it's obviously more than that. I'm sure you get paid in dollars now. Like. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's looking sweet now. <laughs> so for you to get to this level, how many hours do you spend gaming? Ooh, personally, um, usually I can go 10 to 12 hours. Yeah, because uh, I play a lot of games. So there's uh, one particular game that is really time consuming and it's really a lot of fun. And because it's a lot of fun, you just keep going. So 10 to 12 hours I can go straight a day. Yeah. Do you have issues with your parents, people around you, when you say, I want to go into full-time gaming? Uh, yeah, that didn't, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> they were really, uh, with my mom and my brother, they were really, um, they were supportive because they thought it was just, I was doing it as a side thing. They didn't know that I had, at least my mom didn't know that I had a, a, a contract coming in that I was going to become a professional gamer. So when I told them that was, a, that was the path I was going to follow, I, had to, I wanted to quit the job I was doing, which is what they didn't like. So I quit it, they got pissed. I was like, whatever, I want to do what I want to do. I'm a grown ass man and I love this. And uh, yeah, so they, never, they weren't happy about it, obviously. Yeah. You, cannot be, you cannot be said of you that you are now addicted to gaming. I am addicted to gaming. There's no cap about that. I'm addicted to it. Is this addiction a good thing? It's a solid thing, as long as you know what to do with it. It doesn't stop me from doing natural, normal things in life. It doesn't. But it's still an addiction because every other hour or minute, you know what I'm saying? Like every other hour, I'm thinking about, man, I want to go back into. I want to go and play, I want to go and play, because that's what I love doing, it's not my fault, you know, I, that's why I don't, it's an addiction, yeah, but to me, it's, it's a way of life. Thank you so much for joining us on this conversation. No problem, anytime. On Tech Hub, we help you understand how tech can impact your life. Your phone and your SIM card is going to be a bigger asset. And with the power that we have with social media, with uh, the digital space right now, you can be anything you want to be. Tech Hub, for a smarter you.